Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is IDS and IPS, or Intrusion Detection Systems and Intrusion Prevention Systems. I, I thought this mask was fitting for the topic. And so uh, we've talked about IDS, IPS, or intrusion detection, intrusion prevention, but I want to talk a little bit more about it because as we start building out our network, we're going to have a couple of different options. So what IDS, or intrusion detection system, does is it detects and alerts you to um, potential threats, uh, malicious activity, unauthorized access, and all kinds of things security related, it alerts you so that you can take action. Um, IPS, intrusion prevention system, takes it a step further where it detects it and then does something. It takes action. So it could be uh, blocking it, preventing it, alerting and blocking and preventing, starting a new program, something to prevent the malicious activity. So, there's a couple different ways you can do IDS, IPS. You can do it um, on your router, right? As you've seen with OpenSense, PFSense, Ubiquity Edge Router. You can do it in router or you can do it off router or in a separate uh, appliance. And there are pros and cons uh, to doing it both ways, right? So if your IDS, IPS is on your router, it's a simplified setup. You don't need additional hardware um, and everything's going to be there. The, the setup should be kind of easy, right? Um, it's cost effective because you're not buying more hardware, more appliances and anything else that you may need, right? A lot of times <clears throat> maybe the IDS appliance would go in line. Um, and then you're also going to have a single point of management where you're going to manage everything in the router and in the uh, for the IDS IPS in that same router. Now, some of the disadvantages of having it in your router is your router may have limited resources. Not everybody has the budget to buy ginormous routers that have seemingly unlimited resources. So uh, IDS IPS does take up memory, does take up processing uh, powers or CPU cycles, right? Um, usually the packages that we see that are built into the routers are also not as robust as those that are a standalone inline device or even a device where we're uh, mirroring traffic and things like that. And we do have a single point of failure, right? So if your router is compromised or fails, your entire, um, your entire network security stack, including IDS, IPS, is at risk. So the advantages of having your IDS, IPS on a separate device is that you can dedicate resources specifically from that hardware to IDS, IPS, and not worry about burdening your router. Um, you can, or you will more than likely get some advanced features because of that. So that is another advantage. When you have that standalone uh, device, it's going to be much more uh, feature rich. And separating your IDS, IPS from your router creates an additional layer. So remember, we like to design our layers. I call it the, the security gobstopper, right? So this, having it as a separate box is another layer outside of your physical firewall to help wrangle security. Um, some of the disadvantages of having that separate box, cost, right? So you've got to have another hardware uh, you don't have to have licensing. We can still use open source for this, but you have to have another piece of hardware. Then things start getting a little bit more complex. Now, we're actually going to do one of these off-router setups in the upcoming videos, but it gets a little bit complicated because now we've got a device doing bridging between our router and our first switch. How many people here know how to just set up a bridge network and make it run? Not, not a lot of people, right? But we're going to teach you how to do that. Um, and then having that additional hardware, it's increased power consumption, increased space, and all the things that come along heat, you know, and, and if you're using a protectly like we're going to, then you don't really have to worry about that. But let me know what I missed in the conversation about IDS, IPS. This is supposed to be a nice high-level um, overview. So let me know what I missed. 
If you've got questions about IDS, IPS, and how we're going to use it in the upcoming videos, let me know down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel and keep us cranking out this awesome content, you can use our affiliate links are down below. You can, uh, um, you know, click the Patreon link. Or if you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. We'll help you build networks, vet your security plans, most things IT. But if we can't help you, which does happen, we'll refer you to someone who can. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.